We are the Innovative Vehicle Institute, or IVI, an applied research center in Quebec, which works together with companies to help them stay ahead of the curve by creating cleaner and safer vehicles. Our experts develop prototypes of electric, autonomous, and connected vehicles of any type, such as trucks and buses, and even aircraft systems. We design and integrate innovative technologies applied to specialized vehicles for our clients, and then support them in implementing their technology in real-world conditions. Our team has an impressive amount of experience and access to $15 million of infrastructure and equipment to turn any dream into reality. In the last 20 years, we have completed more than 500 projects and helped over 300 clients from small businesses to multinationals alike. Six years ago, we launched a $3.5 million research program applied to off-road autonomous and connected vehicles. The projects carried out within the framework of this program have led us to acquire state-of-the-art equipment, such as a GPU server for rapid development and testing. As part of our research program, we conducted a project in robotic control and perception for Contron, a world leader in embedded computing technology. In collaboration with Intel, Contron designed an embedded computer that enables OEM to convert their specialized vehicle into autonomous vehicle in a fast, reliable, and safe way. Like the iconic cities of the future, with special infrastructures and telecommunications, the agricultural industries of the future will also require intelligent vehicles to facilitate field work and make farmers' yields more reliable, while leaving a sustainable and eco-responsible legacy in their environment. We collaborated with our partner Elmec, a leading player specialized in the development of connected technology such as charging stations for electric vehicles. The company has developed electric-based projects for several years, leveraging ecological, technological, and economic benefits of electric energy. When we started working together, Elmec wanted to create an autonomous electric agricultural robot. Our objective was to develop a 100% electric, light, and autonomous agricultural tool holder it had to be able to analyze soil, to move adequately in the crop, and to perform mechanical weeding of vegetable crops in safe, efficient, and non-invasive way. At IVI, we are system experts, meaning that we are able to make systems of different types to interact, whether they are electrical, mechanical, or software, to produce a vehicular solution that meets specific needs of the user. In terms of mechanical design, the challenge was to create 100% electric equipment with four independent driving and steering wheels and offering an adjustable clearance between the wheels. A robot with fast charging capability on which a mechanical weeder would be set up. The software was also a major challenge. Not only did the navigation system had to be able to move precisely through a field, but it had also to detect the crop, adjusting its path to optimize the quality of the weeding. In robotic, our work is based on three principles, sense, think, and act. Like a human, the robot detects the environment, plans trajectories, and follows it. We collected thousands of images of crops, which we presented to the learning algorithm. In addition, we implemented several other sensors to help the robot locate itself in the environment. The development phase of the prototype took about one and a half years. This was followed by a testing phase in real field condition. The technology transfer phase was a collaborative development with the Elmec team for a period of about one year. Our vision for 2025? To become a reference in North America for vehicular innovation. Considering our growth of the last five years, we are confident to turn this vision into reality. An important milestone in achieving this goal is the construction of our new building. A unique site of innovation in Quebec and Canada, including a spacious workshop, specialized laboratories, a prototyping room, and dynamometers. This building, completed in 2022, provides in a single location the equipment needed to carry out even more large-scale projects.